Quentin Tarantino is a punk. In case you didn't know, he made a mockery of Bruce Lee in his latest film, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Even after he was biting on the wardrobe, all of a sudden, well, I'm here to remind you of the goatness. <laughs> Today, I'm going to be breaking down Bruce Lee versus Chuck Norris. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Jesse, and I'm the founder and grandmaster of MMA, Mexican Martial Arts. I want to start off by letting you know that this video is sponsored by Mexi Stuff. Well, not really, but a loyal Mexican martial arts practitioner hit me up and let me know that this company is este, bootlegging our brand. So if you want to rep the merchandise, but you want to pay higher prices for cheaper material to benefit a bunch of biters, then please shop with Mexi Stuff. You got to understand that this fight took place long before all of the Chuck Norris jokes. When the boogeyman goes to sleep every night, he checks his closet for Chuck Norris. Yeah! So Bruce Lee didn't really have the privilege of knowing what he was up against. All of a sudden, dude starts getting naked and Bruce is like, all right. This was also before the Gracie infestation, which is why Chuck is comfortable enough to turn around so he could warm up. In this day and age, you can never turn your back to an opponent because BJJ practitioners are este, creatures of opportunity. They won't hesitate to take the back and choke you out. But Bruce doesn't get down like that. He also turns around and he even pretends to warm up so that Chuck doesn't feel bad. Once Chuck is ready, he starts creeping up on Bruce, like if he's in stealth mode. The cat starts tripping, and Bruce capitalizes. But to Bruce's surprise, Chuck has those cat-like reflections. This is a rare moment where we see Lee's emotions get the best of him. <laughs> Falling prey to a judo throw while not even wearing a jacket is the lowest of the low. But Chuck has something that he needed to get off of his chest and Bruce was kind enough to help him. Unfortunately, this minor victory was not enough to thwart the following combination. But fortunately, Chuck made a huge mistake. Remember, this fight took place a long time ago, so Chuck never had the opportunity to watch any of those trash talking gone wrong compilations. I'm gonna knock you out every time we fight. I'm gonna close both those eyes for you. I don't see myself losing anytime soon. All around me are familiar faces, worn out. Had he seen them, he never would have done this. straight up Ohara behavior. Oh, you didn't know that I already broke down Bruce Lee versus Ohara? Ohara? I'll put a link down below. You see this face right here? Does it look familiar to you? This is the face of someone who doesn't put up with trash talk. A lot of people don't know this, but this is the moment that inspired that one Aaliyah song. If at first you don't succeed, dust yourself off and try again. You can dust it off and try again. Try it again. But they give that full Jet Li all the glory. Mira, the mirrors also look familiar, don't they? 
What you're looking at right here is a man in his element. A man who has been pushed to become the best version of himself. And yet another thing that was stolen from him years later, the eye of the tiger. It was a much smaller tiger, but still. If you didn't know any better, you would think that all of this was choreographed. It's so smooth, so seemingly rehearsed. But when someone is just that much in control of the fight, completely capable of seeing two and three moves ahead of the opponent, this is what it looks like. So at this moment, we see the cat again, and a lot of people don't get it, but it's clearly a metaphorical. Bruce Lee is straight up playing with Chuck Norris at this point, just like the cat is playing with the ball. this moment, Chuck realizes that he's no longer being carried. The dragon is ready to shut it down. So what does he do? He busts a Jet Li and copies Bruce. But I can't get mad because when it comes to the martial arts, you must lean not on your own understanding, but absorb what is useful, discard what is useless, and add what is specifically your own. <laughs> However, it's not always effective when you're fighting Bruce Lee. And now, things start getting blurry for Chuck. And that's when you know it's time to wrap it up. That's what happened to my tío Beto when the diabetes started getting to him. He had to quit boxing because he got very blurry vision. But in his free time, he fell in love with my tía all over again. But Chuck... He doesn't know any better, and he gets up. Surely, this time, he, nope. Chuck throws what seems to be a rehearsed combination, only to be met with some authoritative haymakers and a broken arm and a broken leg. He actually advises him not to continue. He doesn't want to hurt him, but Chucky doesn't listen. And it was child's play for Bruce. Clearly, he didn't want to do it, but Chuck was never going to give up. What was he supposed to do? Go for 90 minutes like these fools? Nobody wants to watch that. And he honors him by bringing his gear back to him so that the flies don't get on him right away. And there you have it. Bruce Lee didn't pick fights like Tarantino would have you believe, but he did finish them. If you would like to support this channel and help us keep making videos, then please support us on Patreon. It's only $1 a month, but you could pay more if you want. But it's only $1 a month, but you could pay more if you want. Thank you for supporting Mexican Martial Arts. Appreciate it. Good looking out. Late.
What's up, homie? Thank you for watching my video. Somewhere beside me, there will be a video that you can watch to learn more about myself and my channel. And there will also be an icon where you can subscribe. I'm not gonna point to it because I'm not sure what side it's gonna be on. But if you look closely, you will find it. Also, please consider sharing my videos because 